the International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale was introduced in 1990 by the International Atomic Energy Agency in order to enable prompt communication of safety significant information in case of nuclear accidents. The scale is intended to be logarithmic, similar to the moment magnitude scale that is used to describe the comparative magnitude of earthquakes. Each increasing level represents an accident approximately ten times more severe than the previous level. Compared to earthquakes, where the event intensity can be quantitatively evaluated, the level of severity of a man-made disaster, such as a nuclear accident, is more subject to interpretation. Because of the difficulty of interpreting, the INES level of an incident is assigned well after the incident occurs. Therefore, the scale has a very limited ability to assist in disaster aid deployment. As INES ratings are not assigned by a central body, high-profile nuclear incidents are sometimes assigned INES ratings by the operator, by the formal body of the country, but also by scientific institutes, international authorities or other experts which may lead to confusion as to the actual severity. Details a number of criteria and indicators are defined to assure coherent reporting of nuclear events by different official authorities. There are seven non-zero levels on the INES scale, three incident levels and four accident levels. There is also a level zero. The level on the scale is determined by the highest of three scores, off-site effects, on-site effects, and defense in-depth degradation. Level seven, major accident. Impact on people and environment, major release of radioactive material with widespread health and environmental effects requiring implementation of planned and extended countermeasures. There have been two such events to date Chernobyl disaster, April 26, 1986. A power surge during a test procedure resulted in a criticality accident, leading to a powerful steam explosion and fire that released a significant fraction of cool material into the environment resulting in a death toll of 56 as well as estimated 4,000 additional cancer fatalities among people exposed to elevated doses of radiation. As a result, the city of Chernobyl was largely abandoned, the larger city of Pripyat was completely abandoned, and a permanent 30 km exclusion zone around the reactor was established. Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Disaster, a series of events beginning on March 11, 2011. A month later the Japanese government's nuclear safety agency rated it level 7. Major damage to the backup power and containment systems caused by the 2011 Tahoku earthquake and tsunami resulted in overheating and leaking from some of the Fukushima I nuclear plant's reactors. Each reactor accident was rated separately. Out of the six reactors, three were rated level 5, one was rated at a level 3, and the situation as a whole was rated level 7. A temporary exclusion zone of 20 km was established around the plant as well as a 30 km voluntary evacuation zone. In addition, the evacuation of Tokyo a Euro Japan's capital in the world's most populous metropolitan area, 225 km away a Euro was at one point considered. See also 2011 Japanese nuclear accidents. Level 6, Serious Accident, Impact on People and Environment Significant release of radioactive material likely to require implementation of planned countermeasures. There has been only one such event to date, Kshtim disaster at Mayak Chemical Combine Soviet Union, September 29, 1957. A failed cooling system at a military nuclear waste reprocessing facility caused a steam explosion with a force equivalent to 70 to 100 tons of TNT. About 70 to 80 metric tons of highly radioactive material were carried into the surrounding environment. Impact on local population is not fully known, but at least 22 villages were affected with deadly doses. Level 5, Accident with Wider Consequences, Impact on People and Environment, Limited Release of Radioactive Material Likely to Require Re-Implementation of Some Planeta Countermeasures. Several Deaths from a Radiation. Impact on radiological barriers and control, severe damage to reactor core. Release of large quantities of radioactive material within an installation with a high probability of significant public exposure. This could arise from a major criticality accident or fire. Examples, Wind Scale Fire, October 10, 1957. 
a kneeling of graphite moderator at a military air-cooled reactor caused the graphite and the metallic uranium fuel to catch fire, releasing radioactive pile material as dust into the environment. Three Mile Island Accident Near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, March 28, 1979 a combination of design and operator errors caused a gradual loss of coolant, leading to a partial meltdown. An unknown amount of radioactive gases were released into the atmosphere, so injuries and sicknesses that have been attributed to this accident can be deduced from epidemiological studies but can never be proven. First Chalk River Accident, Chalk River, Ontario, December 12, 1952. Reactor core damaged. Loosens partial core meltdown, January 21, 1969. A test reactor built in an underground cavern suffered a loss of coolant accident during a startup, leading to a partial core meltdown and massive radioactive contamination of the cavern, which was then sealed. Goya sent near accident, September 13, 1987. An unsecured cesium chloride radiation source left in an abandoned hospital was recovered by scavenger thieves unaware of its nature and sold at a scrapyard. 249 people were contaminated and four died. Level 4, Accident with Local Consequences, Impact on People and Environment, Minor Release of Radioactive Material Unlikely to Result in Implementation of Planned Countermeasures Other Than Local Food Controls at least one death from radiation. Impact on radiological barriers and control, fuel melt or damage to fuel are resulting in more than 0.1% release of core inventory. Release of significant quantities of radioactive material within an installation with a higher probability of significant public exposure. Examples, Sellafield Euro 5 incidents 1955-1979, SL-1 Experimental Power Station A Euro 1961, reactor reached prompt criticality, killing three operators. St. Laurent Nuclear Power Plant A Euro 1969, partial core cool meltdown. 1980, graphite overheating. Buenos Aires A Euro 1983, criticality accident during fuel rod rearrangement killed one operator and injured two others. Jaslovska copyright Bohunice Euro 1977, contamination of reactor building. Tokamara nuclear accident Euro 1999, three inexperienced operators at a reprocessing facility caused a criticality accident. Two of them died. Level 3, serious incident, impact on people and environment, exposure in excess of 10 times the statutory annual limit for workers. Non-lethal deterministic health effect from radiation. Impact on radiological barriers and control. Exposure rates of more than one civet per hour in an operating area. Severe contamination in an area not expected by design, with a low probability of a significant public exposure. Impact on defense in depth, near accident at a nuclear power plant with no safety provisions remaining. Lost or stolen highly radioactive sealed source. Misdelivered highly radioactive sealed source without adequate procedures in place to handle it. Examples, Thor Plant Sellafield Euro 2005. Pax Nuclear Power Plant, 2003. Fuel rod damage in cleaning tank. Bandello's Nuclear Power Plant, 1989. Fire destroyed many control systems. The reactor was shut down. Davis Best Nuclear Power Station, 2002. Negligent inspections resulted in corrosion through 6 inches of the carbon steel reactor head leaving only 3 or 8 inch of stainless steel cladding holding back the high pressure reactor coolant. Level 2, Incident, Impact on People and Environment, Exposure of a member of the public in excess of 10 MSV. Exposure of a worker in excess of the statutory annual limits. Impact on radiological barriers and control. Radiation levels in an operating area of more than 50 MSVH. Significant contamination within the facility into an area not expected by design. Impact on defense in depth, significant failures in safety are provisions but with no actual consequences. Found highly radioactive sealed orphan source, device or transport package with safety provisions intact. Inadequate packaging of a highly radioactive sealed source. Examples, 
Blye Nuclear Power Plant Flood December 1999, Aska Cubed Nuclear Power Plant April 2008. Radioactive Contamination. Fosmark Nuclear Power Plant July 2006. Backup Generator Failure. Two were online but fault could have caused all four to fail. Gundram Engine Nuclear Power Plant 1977. Weather caused short circuit of high tension power lines and rapid shutdown of reactor, Shika Nuclear Power Plant 1999. Criticality incident caused by dropped control rods, covered up until 2007. Level 1, Anomaly, Impact on Defense in Depth, Overexposure of a Member of the Public in Excess of Statutory or Annual Limits. Minor Problems with Safety Components with Significant Defense in Depth Remaining. Low Activity Lost or Stolen Radioactive Source, Device or Transport Package. Arrangements for reporting minor events to the public differ from country to country. It is difficult to ensure precise consistency in rating events between INES Level 1 and below scale level O, examples, Penley April 5, 2012. An abnormal leak on the primary circuit of the reactor NAR Degree 2 was found in the evening of April 5, 2012 after a fire in reactor NAR Degree 2 around noon was extinguished. Gravelines, August 8, 2009. During the annual fuel bundle exchange in reactor number 1, a fuel bundle snagged onto the internal structure. Operations were stopped, the reactor building was evacuated and isolated in accordance with operating procedures. TNPC, July 2008. Leak of 18,000 liters of water containing 75 kilograms of unenriched uranium into the environment. Level 0, deviation, no safety significance. Examples, June 4, 2008. Krako, Slovenia, leakage from the primary cooling circuit. December 17, 2006, Atocha, Argentina, reactor shutdown due to tritium increase in reactor compartment. February 13, 2006, fire in nuclear waste volume reduction facilities of the Japanese Atomic Energy Agency in Tokamura. Out of scale, there are also events of no safety relevance, characterized as out of scale. Examples, November 17, 2002, Natural Uranium Oxide Fuel Plant at the Nuclear Fuel Complex in Hyderabad, India, a chemical explosion at a fuel fabrication facility. September 29, 1999, H. B. Robinson, United States, a tornado sighting within the protected area of the nuclear power plant. March 5, 1999, San Anof, United States, Discovery of suspicious item, originally thought to be a bomb, in nuclear power plant. Criticism, deficiencies in the existing INES have emerged through comparisons between the 1986 Chernobyl disaster and 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster. Firstly, the scale is essentially a discrete qualitative ranking, not defined beyond event level 7. Secondly, it was designed as a public relations tool, not an objective scientific scale. Thirdly, its most serious shortcoming is that it conflates magnitude with intensity. David Smythe has proposed a new quantitative nuclear accident magnitude scale. Nuclear experts say that the INES emergency scale is very likely to be revisited given the confusing way in which it was used in the 2011 Japanese nuclear accidents. See also, notes and references. External links Nuclear Events Web-Based System, IAEA, International Nuclear Event Scale Fact Sheet, IAEA, International Nuclear Event Scale, Users Manual. Archived from the original on March 19, 2011. Retrieved March 19, 2011 A International Nuclear Event Scale, Users Manual, IAEA, 2008.